we struggled trying to have children. I had my first son and then two years after welcomed my second son. Later on, we discovered that he was on the autism spectrum. After that, two years later, I had my daughter and she also had some hearing issues. The universe has a very crazy way of mapping your destiny with where you need to be. For the time that I spent overseas, I saw the array of services and support that was offered to families with children with disabilities. And that really propelled me to try and to help this organization achieve their mission. Caribbean Kids and Families Therapy Organization is a therapeutic rehabilitation non-profit organization. And we're the only one of our kind in Trinidad and Tobago. We provide therapy and support services for children with disabilities, regardless of your income level and ability to pay. So one of the um, primary reasons why I've become involved in CKF2 is really because of um, Liz's desire to ensure that there was accountability for the organization and the funds and the way it was spent. And she saw in me a chartered accountant who is a stickler for that. From the moment I met Liz, I realized that she was the driving force behind CKFTU. For parents like us who couldn't afford, she made sure that we got subsidies. By doing what they did for Kylan, it has helped us tremendously. We are guided by the WHO um, guidelines that 10% of your population have some form of disability. In relation to Trinidad and Tobago, with a population of 1.5 million, you're talking about nearly 150,000 persons. Of that 150,000 persons, NCPD is just serving 300 persons per year. So I had a stroke in 2018 and I had a bilateral stroke, so both sides. And if it wasn't for the seven months of intensive therapy, I would not be able to walk, talk, interact. I think it's just fueled my drive even more to be able to explain to parents what it feels like to have one of those disabilities, to have any sort of sensory processing disorder. So if you could look at the kind of success that I have had recovering from a near-death experience with a bilateral stroke, could you imagine if we could employ those resources into children with disabilities? Could you imagine the success and the possibilities that we could give them? Our hope is constantly to be able to bring therapy services to all of Trinidad and Tobago, to all the children that need it, so that we could give them a fighting chance and a success for a better quality of life.